In this video, we're going to be very specifically looking at the linear region or ohmic region of a MOSFET and its small signal parameters. The ID versus VDS characteristics, as we have discussed in previous videos, look like this. And we have defined this as a linear region. In fact, to be very specific, this is not really linear. We, in fact, choose to call this ohmic region in most of the cases. We're going to talk specifically about this region. In ohmic region, the current equation is given by this, where the condition is VDS is less than VGS minus VTH. We can write ID is equal to a function of VGS and VDS. These are the potentials in control with which ID can be changed. Let's say VGS changes by delta VGS and VDS changes by delta VDS. What would happen to drain current? In fact, we can write this ID, which is DC current, plus the small change in the current of this value, with small ID, is equal to this function, where we have represented delta VGS and delta VDS. Now, just this small ID can be equated to by doing a Taylor series expansion till just the first order. This can be expanded only if the delta VGS and delta VDS are small. Hence, this will be called a small signal model. The small ID is equal to the partial differentiation of ID with respect to VGS. In fact, at a given VDS times delta VGS plus this is partial differentiation of ID with respect to VDS at a given constant VGS times delta VDS. This can be equated to GM times VGS plus 1 over RD times VDS. This quantity, we're calling it GM, and this quantity, we're calling this 1 over RD, or we can say this is GD. Let's first investigate this term, which is 1 over RD, which is in fact the partial differentiation of ID with respect to VDS. So if you look at ID differentiated with respect to VDS, Differentiation of this term, VDS would be 1 differentiation. And this is 2 times VDS by 2, 2 to cancel. So we get this. And of course, GD is defined at a particular given a VGS value. To understand this term better, let's take VDS is equal to 0 as an example. In which case, this equation GD would be equal to this value. Now to understand this, at VD is equal to 0, which means we get to this point, this point. If we take the slope of ID versus VDS characteristics in this, we would get lines like this, which are like the slopes at VD is equal to 0 for GD. Now, as we know, we have to check this value as VGS is changing. We know that VGS is higher here. As VGS is higher, the GD is higher, which is the slope. And as VGS is decreasing, the GD value is decreasing, which means the slope here is decreasing. And if we further decrease VGS, the GD value would decrease further. So that's what the equation says. As VGS decreases, GD would decrease. But of course, if you go back and see, this GD is actually a function of VGS and VDS. We are looking at VDS equal to 0 so that we understand what this GD is at a given VGS value. As VGS changes, the slope of this curve changes, which means the slope actually depends on the DC biasing point, which is basically the VGS and the VDS. Let's take VGS is particular to this curve and VDS is somewhere here. And if you see here, the slope would look something like this for this point, that would be GD, which means this GD would depend on DC biasing voltages, both VGS and VDS. For a given VGS and VDS, we can find a GD value. This is an important equation where we find the drain conductance, which is equal to 1 over RD, which is drain resistance. In fact, small signal values. And of course, small signal values would depend on the DC values, which means the biasing point. In fact, the small signal model is uh, discussed in a bit detail in the saturation region of operation of MOSFET. Now, as we have seen this value, which is GD equal to 1 over RD. Now, let's move on to GM, 
GM is partial differentiation of ID with respect to VGS. When we differentiate this, this term would become zero and this term would be zero. Only this term would be there where delta VGS, we get this entire term would become VDS once we differentiate. So we can write GM is equal to mu C ox prime W by L times VDS. So this is an important expression and this is called the transconductance because we are talking about drain current to the gate voltage variation. Whereas this we are talking about drain current to drain voltage, hence we call this drain conductance. If you observe this value, it depends on VDS. Of course, at any given VDS, we can find this value GM. And in fact, GM here doesn't depend on VGS. It depends only on the VDS in linear region. Let's look at the ID versus VGS characteristics. This is how the ID versus VGS characteristics would look. This curve is for saturation region. And we have seen in working and IV characteristics of MOSFET that when we move VDS, the drain current is not going to change for a given VGS. So let's take, if we take a VGS here, the current in saturation is not going to change. But as we enter into linear region, let's say for this VGS it is linear, for this VGS it is linear, but of course for this particular VGS it is still in saturation. That's why if you take this curve, this curve actually will be linear and it actually merges with the saturation curve. If you take a different VDS value, if you move a bit left, then the current would reduce for a given VGS. Let's say for this VGS, the current was here, it reduced, but then still there would be a smaller VGS corresponding ID VDS curve, which would still be in saturation. Hence, this curve would go and merge with this saturation curve at some point. So as we are decreasing VDS, the curve keeps moving downwards. But of course, they all will be merging with the saturation curve at some point. So let me write this down here. This curve keeps moving down as VDS is decreasing. And of course, within this region, if you see, this will be linear. This will be linear. Hence, the GM will be constant there. In this case, it will be constant, constant, constant. And of course, it depends on VDS as we have seen. Because the slope keeps decreasing as VDS is decreasing. And that's why GM is directly proportional to VDS here. These two are small signal drain conductance and transconductance values or expressions. In fact, one of the most important points in linear or ohmic region is the usage of MOSFET as a voltage variable resistor. This is small signal drain resistance, which is given by RD is equal to L over mu C ox prime W times VGS minus VTH minus VDS. Assuming we are operating at a very small VDS, we can say that the resistance would be changing with respect to VGS which means by controlling the gate potential, the resistance between the drain and source can be controlled. This is a voltage variable resistor. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.